Hello, I'm Daryl Howerton, and today I'm going to show you how to bind a screenplay. It's really simple. First, what you need to get is some solid brass fasteners. You can get these on eBay or other stores, screenwriting stores. This one's from Akko. They are one and a half, I'm sorry, one and a quarter inch long. Those are the type to get. Solid brass fa fasteners, one and one quarter inches. Also, what you need to get are these brass washers. This is a half inch. What you're gonna do, once you have these, set them aside, go to your FedEx office or wherever you get your stuff printed. When you get your screenplay copied, make sure that you have them three hole punch it because that's how your screenplay is gonna be fastened later. Three hole punch. After that, you're going to put the fasteners on and this is gonna be the finished product. You don't use the middle one because that's where a lot of the people who read your screenplays put their hand. And if you put one there, you're gonna give them calluses and all kinds of other hand injuries. So you only need two. So once you get your 130 pages back from, this, from FedEx office or wherever you go, here's what you do with the fastener and the washer. First you grab one of them, slip it through, Make sure this is tight and tout as possible, if that's the right word, tout. Slip it through, that's good. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom one. Slip this one through, this is good. Now I gotta put the washer over the fastener. I like to put the top outer end out, but I don't think it really matters. Again, all you're doing is putting this washer over the fastener let it sit there for a second and do it for the other one let it sit here for a second and then I'm gonna splay it out so all I'm gonna do is lay this one out here splay this out here and basically you've got it set I'm gonna do the same thing over here I like having the taller end facing out so then I'll splay this taller end I don't think it matters but that's just what I like to do and you got this here, and you're basically 99% of the way done. Last thing, you need a hammer. Just to make sure it sticks. This is when you're finally happy with the way it looks. You're happy that it's perfectly adjusted, the corners, the sides. Because after you hammer it, there's no more readjusting. So if it all fits really nicely like this one does, boom, boom. Hammer. One, two, three, four, five. Press the edges at the end. Want to hammer them down, that's fine. And there you go, you have your screenplay. This is Spurs, my Tim Duncan and San Antonio Spurs tribute. This is Hollow Notes tribute, shorter, 35 pages, 130. It works for both, the same size works for both. When I got these printed, I got the top page on 80 pound stock. Every other page in between, in, inside was 20 pound. No fancy frills, no back page, just 80 pound stock for your cover. I make sure that the front inside page also has another cover it's on 20 pound stock but that's basically it simple short comment if you have any questions thank you